Good evening and salutations, my Days of Our Lives fans. So, I'm going to be honest with you, going into this episode, there wasn't a lot that happened. Um, it's one of those things where it's like you had the meat of the story, you had the fluff, and then you had <clears throat> the side story. Let's get into the meat first and we'll just kind of work our way backwards. So let's start with Let's start with Eric, Ali, and Nicole. So this is pretty much from yesterday when she reveals to them, when Ali reveals to the two um that she's pregnant. They go back and forth about, you know, um I think Eric says something like accidentally like, oh, well, you know, there's not going to be enough room. And, you know, Ali kind of jumps to conclusions that she doesn't, you know, just she's not wanted there or anything like that. But they kind of like settle it because Nicole's like, listen, you just need to listen to her, you know, because to be, you know, in all honesty, she just seems like she's a teenager that's scared. She got pregnant. She doesn't know what to do. She's asking her uncle for help and she's just confused. Um, anyway, fuck me. One second. Anyway, after they finish jumping down each other's throats, um, Eric is like, you know, listen, you gotta, you gotta tell your mom, you know, you gotta, you gotta tell your mom, you gotta tell somebody. And, you know, um, Allie gets this whole speech about how Sammy's very controlling, this, that, a third, and, um... Well, <laughs> Eric is like, well, listen, you can't hide this forever. You know, eventually you're going to be showing a baby is going to be born. And then that's when, that's when Allie is like, well, not necessarily. Well, th let me, let me backtrack for a minute. Eric is like, well, eventually the baby's going to be here. You know, like you can't hide it forever. And that's when Allie is like, well, not exactly. And Eric is like, well, what does that mean? Um, and it's just a multitude of different things that I can, well, multitude by like two things that I can sit there and think of. But before that, um, Lucas and Kate go, you know, arrive at the door and knock on the door. Here's the thing that kind of like blew me a little bit. So, and I'm kind of, kind of tell this in a bit of a backer order, but just follow me for a minute. So, <laughs> Kate and... Oh my god, something really my eye. So yeah, Kate and Lucas gets to the um Will and Sonny's house. And they pretty much ask, like, you know, have you seen your sister Allie? You know, where is she? And Will or Sonny? No, Will. Okay. Took me a second. Will is like, no, I haven't seen her. You know, I don't know where she's at. And um Lucas is like, well, you know, she's been partying hard and stuff like that. And we just, we got to find where she's at. We don't know where she's at. Now, I'm just not to thinking in my head. Okay. I haven't watched this show for a long, I haven't watched this show for like, you know, I've been watching the show for like three weeks. Even I can tell that, well, let's see, if he's not at Will and Sonny's house and he's not at Mar, and she's not at Marlene's house because they just called, they just called Marlene. Actually, tell you the truth, she just been to Marlene's and called her twice. They're like, well, where can she be at? Well, there's only one other place. I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, we, we really just did this, like, trying to guess where she's at? She's not at Marlene's house, and she's not at Will's house. No, she's not at Sonny's house. I can't figure... Will and Sonny's house, she's not there. So she can only be one other place. And they're like, oh, yeah... I know where she's at. Really? Okay. Um. Now, just to back up a little bit, this is where kind of the fluff story kind of comes in from a little bit. And there's actually kind of two fluff stories. Um. So. Sonny gets off the phone. No, Will gets off the phone. Sonny is the dark hair one. Will gets off the phone and he's like, yeah, I just talked to the adoption agent. The, the adoption agency um because at first at first he's like um is there a problem and then he gets off the phone and he talks to um Sonny and he's like yeah there's, there's a problem 
and and pretty much what it comes down to is will is like well i talked to the adoption agency and she kind of gave me that tone that like talking down kind of tone where she said there was a discrepancy or something like that um i think she tried to use the fact that he was uh, arrested at one point and even though he was clear to sergeants will was like the only reason why that they don't want us to be parents that you know they don't want to work with us is because we're gay and i mean i it was one of those things where it's like shit you know it's 2020 and we're still sitting there thinking like this you know and it sucks because it's not like it's something that's not a reality but it's like are you fucking kidding me you know like really it just uh so because in, in the beginning they were sent there talking about gabby about you know um i guess their daughters sent to asking where's gabby at and somebody's like we ran out of excuses and then he sits there start thinking like where could she be at and they talk to abe and it's this whole thing that goes on and honestly to tell you the truth it, it kind of goes nowhere um and then they talk about the adoption part um and pretty much they're like, you know, pretty much screw that comp- screw that agency. We're going to sit there and find another way to do it. And they go back and forth. And honestly, to tell you the truth, again, it's just fluff. Um, they both come to the conclusion that they are going to adopt. And, um, they, well, they come to the conclusion that they're going to um, have a baby. You know, either through adoption or surrogacy or whatever. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much about it. Uh, let's talk about Rafe and Hope, because R- Rafe is still isn't it, dealing with the fallout of him losing custody, um, uh, little David. And so Hope is there pretty much just picking up the pieces, you know, she's going to sit there and drop off some stuff for little David and Rafe is like, nah, I can't be left alone. And, um, he pretty much jumps from the shower, that's when Abe comes in and... Abe just finished talking to, I think, Will and Sonny about Gabby. And because it hasn't been 24 hours yet, it's, it's not official yet. So he goes over there to see Rafe. And Rafe is in the shower, so he talks to Hope. And Hope tells um, Abe the bad news that, you know, Zoe got custody. Now again, I, I'm trying not to belittle this situation as much as possible. Really? One sec. Yeah, so here's why I'm trying to not really belittle a situation. Because, I mean, I get that it's... I can only imagine. I I don't actually have children or anything like that. So I can only imagine how difficult it is to lose custody of a child. Okay? Um, And I understand that it's very heartbreaking and things of that nature. But I'm trying to look at it like this. She's not the devil incarnate, okay? She's not Nell Benson from General Hospital. You know, she said that you can see little Dave whenever you want. It's only a couple hours drive. You are a dedicated man. You can make it work. You know, little Dave didn't vanish, you know? He's not lost in the ether or anything like that. He's still alive. And I honestly tell you the truth, this whole portion of hope of, of rape and the hope was just him. I don't want to sit there and say moping because that sounds kind of dickish when I say it out loud, but like that's pretty much all it was was just him being sad about losing losing little Dave and hope just sitting there trying to cheer him up. And at the end of it, it does work. Um, you know, they're, they're friends and stuff like that. Apparently, they had a messy divorce. Um, so it does work, but it's just one of those things where it's like. I mean, you don't, something like that, you don't just get over, you know, to some extent, you know, it just, it does take time, and, you know, even from Hope's point of view, you can't, like, you can't cheer him up to the point where he's just back to 100%, you know, um, but it is what it is, and that's pretty much just how it went, and that was pretty much, um, their scene. Again, to be honest, I'm not going to lie. I didn't really sit there and take that much notes because I felt like not really a lot happened. Um, and I'll probably get back to more Ali and Eric just in case I forgot anything. But let's talk about Eli and um, Eli and um, Lonnie. 
again, love. Um, all they were pretty much talking about was how Lonnie was feeling and she was panicking because she wasn't feeling more in the sickness and then apparently she said like if it's if she doesn't feel more in the sickness then something is thrown off and Eli was like where'd you get that from and she was like the internet and I'm like oh god seriously you really did not say that <sighs> the internet is not your friend when you are hurt or you want to find out if something is wrong with you and I would sit there and think uh grown woman like her would know that but I guess when you're panicking that's what you do so whatever she snaps on him she says sorry he cheers her up and then they're actually about to play mattress tag and then the dad comes in and I'm not gonna lie there was there was a part that was a little kind of funny about that because dad knocks on the door and um you know they you know he puts on the shirt or whatever and they're just standing there like oh you and you know they're talking to him and Abe was like, so, what are you two up to? And, um, you know, Lonnie's like, oh, we're just, you know, talking about wedding plans and stuff. Just, you know, planning our wedding. And Abe was like, of course you are. That's exactly what I thought you were doing. He says something along as that effect, and I was like, my guy, he, he knows. He knows. He doesn't want to say it, but he knows. So I, I don't know. It's something about that scene that I just kind of like. Like he walked in the door like, come on now. You're not going to sit there and know what those two were doing before you walked in. But whatever. Um. Anyway, Abe was pretty much like, listen, I need you to try to find Gabby. And of course, Lonnie was like, oh, well, she probably jumped bail. This, that, and the third. Yada, yada, yada. And, you know, they talk back and forth. And Abe was like, listen, he would not, you know, she would never leave her daughter. And of course, Gabby, um, and of course, Lonnie was like, oh, well, Gabby only cares about Gabby and just Gabby alone. I'm like, All right, I get you don't like her, but like, I mean, she is a mother. Let's, let's cut her some slack, at least on that part. Um, anyway, they agree to help and, um, I think they locked down the, um, they locked down the wedding to July 4th. Which is kind of weird because I'm pretty sure Steve and Justin also is doing July. And I think it's July 4th. I'm not sure. I don't know what the hell is going on there. Um. Anyway. That pretty much ends that scene. Uh, let me just pause it for one second. I want to make sure I got everything through. Yeah. That's pretty much about it. Um. Yeah, like I said, um, Lonnie and, um, Eli, <laughs> their scenes were fluff, Will and Sonny's scenes were fluff, but the only thing that I, you know, which I was happy about was that they weren't gonna let, you know, an uh, uh, agency that's not caught up with the times not stop them from, you know, adopting a child. That just irked the fuck out of me, to be honest. But um, other than that, yeah, their scenes were pretty much flop. They just talked about the baby. And then um, Lucas and Kate came in and they acted clueless like they couldn't find where Ali was. If they would have stopped and thought about how many relatives that she would go to, that whole conversation wouldn't have even lasted as long as it did, which was five, which was three minutes. I'm pretty sure so yeah um yada 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 that's pretty about it the only thing that was really interesting was towards the end um kate and luke is knocking the door ali's like don't tell them don't tell them don't tell them eric looks through the peephole and he's like oh they're there i'm like dude what are you doing I, now i just i don't understand i i feel i mean granted i feel like they're going to rush her in the room um, or they're going to sit there and try to find some sort of way to hide her pregnancy, which is like just so dumb. Like, I understand that they're trying to do it to stretch out a story, but like how many, I feel like this is going to be more cartoony than like them just meant to say, hey, listen, she's pregnant. Don't tell your mother because she tends to go um, overboard. 
Um, and that's, that's pretty much about it. Honestly, to tell you the truth, I don't really have much to really add to this recap. I apologize that it came out so late, but I had to deal with resetting my damn phone, and that took a while, and me coming home a little bit late, because, well, work was work. So, yeah. Anyway, that's going to do it for this recap. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you again, um, for giving me the, the info about e, um, EJ and um, Sammy. I really do appreciate that. Um, I have fun doing these. And I know that General House is going to come back on. So I'm actually going to sit there and try to do them both. Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts on that. And um, yeah, that's going to be about it. Have a good day, good night, depending on you're watching this. Be safe. I'm sorry that this review wasn't longer, but to be honest, there were two scenes that were fluff, and I don't understand why they actually put both of them there. Like, you had Rafe and Hope, and then you had Eli and Lonnie, and then you had Nicole and... You had Nicole, Allie, and... Um, Nicole, Allie, and Eric. And I felt like maybe it's just me. Or maybe I can't count because it's a long day. But I felt we had four scenes. Or four groups of people. And it just wasn't necessary. Like it really wasn't necessary. Like did we need to actually sit there? And I'm almost just like. Did they, did they really need to actually sit there and talk about Rafe today? Rafe and Hope dealing with Dave's um, fallout. The fallout. I don't know. I felt like it was a scene. I felt like there was just some scenes that just wasn't really even necessary today. But that's just me. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And um, yeah, enough of me rambling. Have a good day. Or good night. Don't be watching this.